ever pondered what it would mean to transform the moon into a habitable place? As we gaze upon our celestial neighbor, the moon, we see a barren landscape, devoid of life, its conditions are harsh and inhospitable. The moon lacks a breathable atmosphere, which makes it a silent world, with no wind or weather. Temperature variations are extreme, ranging from boiling hot during the lunar day, to freezing cold at night. Liquid water, a crucial ingredient for life as we know it, is absent on its surface. The moon's size is just about a quarter of Earth's, and it sits roughly 384,000 kilometers away from us. Its gravitational pull is a mere one-sixth of Earth's, so if you were to step foot on the moon, you'd feel much lighter. Understanding the moon's present conditions sets the foundation for our exploration of what terraforming it would entail. But before we delve into it, what exactly does terraforming mean? Terraforming is a term that, quite literally, means earth-shaping. It's the hypothetical process of transforming a planet, moon, or another celestial body to make it habitable for human life. Imagine being able to walk on the surface of Mars or our very own moon without a spacesuit. That's the dream of terraforming. But it's important to note that, as it stands, terraforming is largely in the realm of science fiction. The technological feats required to accomplish such a task are beyond our current capabilities, yet it's a concept that has captivated scientists, authors, and dreamers alike. It's been the subject of countless novels, movies, and debates. The idea that we could one day make another world our home is both exciting and daunting. Terraforming remains a fascinating and contentious topic in scientific circles. Now what are the monumental challenges we'd face in attempting to terraform our lunar neighbor? First off, we'd need to generate an atmosphere. The moon currently has virtually no atmosphere, which means there's no air for us to breathe, and no buffer to protect us from solar radiation. We'd need to introduce a vast amount of gases much like those on Earth to make the moon inhabitable. But where would these gases come from, and how would we keep them from escaping back into space? Next we'd need to warm up the moon's surface. The moon's temperature swings dramatically, from boiling hot during the day to bitterly cold at night. To make it more Earth-like, we'd have to find a way to stabilize this temperature and warm it up enough to support liquid water and life. Speaking of water, that's our third challenge. Water is essential for life as we know it. And while some ice has been found at the moon's poles, there's nowhere near enough to sustain a population or an ecosystem. We'd need to find a way to transport vast amounts of water to the moon or somehow generate it there. And let's not forget about time. Even with the most optimistic estimates, terraforming the moon would likely take thousands of years. That's a lot of time for things to go wrong and a long time to wait for results. Finally, there are the ethical and legal issues. Do we have the right to alter a celestial body in such a drastic way? What would be the implications for space law, for our understanding of the universe, and for our relationship with other potential spacefaring civilizations? These challenges make terraforming the moon a daunting prospect, but what if we could overcome them? Let's imagine for a moment we could overcome these challenges. How might we go about terraforming the moon? We could start by importing volatile materials like nitrogen and water. This would be a massive undertaking requiring a fleet of spacecraft, but it's not beyond the realm of possibility. These materials would be essential in creating an atmosphere and providing life-sustaining resources. To warm the lunar surface, we might employ nuclear reactors or even giant mirrors. The reactors could provide localized heating, creating pockets of warmth to support life. On the other hand, mirrors could reflect sunlight onto the moon's surface, raising the temperature over a wider area. This might sound far-fetched, but remember we're dealing in hypotheticals here. Now, with an atmosphere and warmer climate, we'd need something to breathe life into this new world. We could potentially use genetically engineered organisms designed to survive in the harsh lunar environment. These organisms might start simple, perhaps microscopic life forms, but over time and with careful nurturing, they could evolve into more complex ecosystems. Think of it as a lunar garden, a carefully curated collection of life that we've planted and nurtured. Over time, these organisms would interact with the environment, producing oxygen, breaking down rocks into soil, and generally making the moon more Earth-like. Now this wouldn't happen overnight. Terraforming the moon would likely take centuries, if not millennia. We'd need to be patient, carefully managing the process, and adapting our approach as necessary. But with enough time we might be able to transform the moon into a place where humans could live and thrive. It's a grand, almost fantastical vision, but it's not without potential consequences. This process would fundamentally change the moon, 
and we'd need to carefully consider the ethical and environmental implications. But that's a conversation for another time. For now, let's marvel at the possibilities. After all, who knows what the future might bring. So we've terraformed the moon, but at what cost? Let's ponder the potential consequences. Earth's tides governed by the moon's gravitational pull could be drastically altered, leading to unpredictable shifts in our ecosystems. The night sky, a source of inspiration and wonder for many, could change forever, outshining the stars with its new livelier glow. And let's not forget the potential cultural loss, as the moon's barren beauty that has inspired countless myths, stories and works of art could be forever altered. But it's not all doom and gloom. Terraforming could pave the way for space colonization, reducing overpopulation on Earth, and opening up possibilities for new kinds of societies and ways of life. The moon could also become a valuable source for resources, potentially easing the strain on Earth's dwindling supplies. Terraforming the moon remains a distant possibility, but it's a fascinating topic that sparks our imagination and pushes the boundaries of our scientific understanding. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. That's all for Nifty Narration.